Hey, Steelers fans, I'm Thomas Mod. Welcome to our Pittsburgh Steelers news and review video here on a Monday. Coming up in today's video, Kyler Murray might be traded from the Arizona Cardinals. What about the Steelers? Could they possibly make a blockbuster trade for the young quarterback? Also, how good is this draft class? If you don't trade for Kyler Murray, is it bad? According to a GM, they say it's really bad. And finally, CBS Sports, a brand new seven-round mock draft for our Steelers. They take a quarterback in a weird spot. I'll show you that coming up here on today's video. First, trivia time. Answer this down below in the comments section. I'll give you the answer a little bit later on in today's video. How many undrafted players are in the NFL Hall of Fame? Undrafted, NFL Hall of Fame, how many? Take your guess, don't cheat, don't go to Google. Down below, give me the answer right now. I jump in the latest Steelers news rumor here on a Monday, starting with the curious case of Kyler Murray. So, Pro Football Talk has a new report talking about how Kyler Murray could be looking for a trade. This stems off multiple other reports essentially saying that Kyler Murray is unhappy with the Arizona Cardinals. Cardinals aren't so happy with him, and the meat of it being he wants a new contract. Duh, he's a rookie quarterback on a rookie deal, or was a rookie quarterback currently on a rookie deal, and he wants to get that bag, wants to get that bread, secure that money, and apparently the Cardinals are like, eh, I don't know if we want to give you $40 million a year. So there are reports saying that possibly he could sit out the offseason, sit out training camp, and essentially hold out of the NFL until he gets a brand new deal or the Arizona Cardinals trade him. So that sparked a lot of news and rumors regarding multiple NFL teams and the idea that maybe this team or that team could make a deal for Murray. Let's talk about the Steelers' chances of doing that, despite the fact they did sign, obviously, Mr. Trisky this offseason. Um, let's start with first NFL Network's uh, write-up on NFL.com on Kyler Murray. Throw it up on a screen. Quote, NFL Network's Tom Pelissero reported Thursday that Murray is not expected to play unless he gets a new deal. Per sources inform the decision. The Cardinals have yet to make a contract offer to Murray, whose agent, Eric, Bur uh, Eric Burkhart, informed the team weeks ago he was pulling his opening proposal off the table. Pelissero added, end quote. So, there you go. There's your drama. There's your report saying that he's unhappy with the current situation and could sit out, hence the idea of a trade. Here's the deal, though. We talk about this from a Pittsburgh uh, Steelers lens or a Pittsburgh Steelers perspective. I'd be shocked if Pittsburgh wanted Murray. Not because Kyler Murray's a bad player, but more because Kyler Murray just seems like he's not elite yet. And I think if the Steelers were going to actually try to trade for a quarterback, as we saw they didn't do this offseason, it has to be for somebody you fully trust and believe in. And of course, Deshaun Watson, off the field issues, can't fully trust and believe in him. And Kyler Murray now, is he actually going to become the next Josh Allen, or at least as good as Josh Allen, or as good as Patrick Mahomes, you know, that level of quarterback play? I haven't seen it yet. And the price, we all know, would be very, very high, multiple first-round draft picks. If you're Pittsburgh, again, just ride with Mitch Trubisky or a rookie quarterback. Like, you can get Mitch Trubisky and kick him be your week one starter. If he plays great, fantastic. You have a cheap young guy on a two-year deal. However, if he plays poorly, you've drafted someone, as we'll see, who can maybe eventually become the starter in the end of 2022 or the start of 2023. Kyler, to me, there's just, there's just too much drama. A little too expensive, and I'd much rather go ahead and either roll Trubisky or take one of the draft quarterbacks. And we'll talk about these guys a little bit later on today. Pickett, Willis, Corral, Ritter, like someone, one of the four is going to at least be good. It's, it might not be the best draft class ever, but one of the four at least is going to be a quality caliber starter in the NFL. If you get the right one, then you're sitting a lot more pretty or a lot prettier uh, than possibly trading away a lot of draft capital for Kyler Murray. Um, answer the question down below. Would you trade three first-round draft picks for Kyler Murray? Three, because that's probably the asking price. Russell Wilson was two first, two second, and multiple starter players. Deshaun Watson was three first-round draft picks. Like, let's just say it's two or three first-round draft picks for Kyler Murray. Would you do the deal? Uh, would you do this trade? Let me know down below in the comments section right now. Now, speaking of these draft quarterbacks, there's a new report coming from an anonymous NFL GM via Peter King of NBC Sports, basically saying that no one feels good about the quarterbacks in this draft. Now, this is necessarily... I would say anything, you know, groundbreaking because we've known this for a while. But now that a GM, an anonymous one, obviously one of 32 in the NFL, has said it, it's gotten us thinking, you know, he's actually kind of right. So here was the write-up from Peter King uh, via this anonymous GM on the quarterback class. Quote, I'd hate to need a quarterback this year. With an owner all over you to find one and to have to draft one with this group, no one feels great about any of these guys. Uh, Pitts, Kenny Pickett is probably the best one, and he's a maybe, end quote. That's, it's, that's a lot. He's a maybe. Now, again, this is what happens in the NFL draft. The NFL draft gets closer and closer. We're less than two weeks away. The quarterback hype grows and grows and grows. And at one point, Pickett was the only first rounder, and now you have all four of these guys who are considered first round quarterbacks. You remember, it was like Sam Howell and Kenny Pickett are your two first rounders. Well, Pickett has survived the test of time. Howell is trying to squeak into the first round, but Ritter is for sure going to be a late first round, early second round. Corral for sure in the first round, and Malik Willis might even be a top 10 quarterback. I mean, here's the deal. These guys, like I said, one of them will at least be good, and that's fine, but we've known this all along. We've known this is a bad, a bad draft class. And I think that's why Pittsburgh went ahead and signed Mitch Trubisky. Like, Pittsburgh knows this is not a great draft class, and so there's no point in, you know, putting all your eggs in one basket. 
That doesn't mean they can't draft somebody. It just means they have a, a plan in place with Trubisky that can at least give these lesser quarterbacks time instead of throwing them straight to the fire. Because trust me, if you even if Corral and Willis and Pickett are actually really good, you do not want to throw this draft class like week one and have fun being the NFL starting quarterback. Because if you do, you're a desperate franchise. You're going to be in a lot of trouble. Um, are you guys confident with any of the quarterbacks in this class? Like, like, do you have one that you love? If you do, type Y down below for yes. If you do not, go ahead and type N down below for no. Um, quick shout out to our friends at BetUS. Chatsports.com forward slash bet is your one-stop shop for all of your sports betting, whether it's on the NFL draft or the NBA playoffs. Use our promo code right now, Steelers125, for 125% deposit bonus whenever you first sign up. Put your $100 down. Use our promo code. Turns into 225 bucks for you guys to bet on, again, the draft or the playoffs. Playoffs have started. Here are your uh, odds in terms of uh, Eastern Conference champions. Milwaukee right now plus 275 you bet 100 bucks you win 275 dollars the Nets even though they lost last night still plus 325 the Heat they blew up the uh, the Hawks plus 450 Celtics plus 450 and Sixers plus 500 there you go another there's a, a Pennsylvania team the Sixers there are your odds right now you can bet on those with bet us how about the first quarterback taken in the draft bet us odds right now Malik Willis minus 165 Kenny Pickett is second at plus 130 Ritter is plus twelve hundred. Corral plus fifteen hundred bucks. You bet a hundred dollars on Matt Corral being the first quarterback taken. You win fifteen hundred dollars. Sam Howell plus four thousand as well. It's, it's uh, interesting odds right there. New their friends at BetUSChessSports.com forward slash bet that promo code Steelers one two five. Uh, let's go ahead and get to our trivia question before we jump into the CBS Sports latest mock draft. I asked earlier, did you get the answer right? How many undrafted players are in the NFL Hall of Fame? The answer. Just 17. Like, that's it. 17 total undrafted players have made it to the NFL Hall of Fame. Most notable ones are Dick Night Train Lane, well before my time, Kurt Warner, and Warren Moon. Of course, Kurt Warner, one of the few ones that I have seen out of this group because I was too young to watch Warren Moon. But there you go. There's your trivia time, uh, trivia question answer. Let me know if you guys got it right. I'm going to look to the comments, see if you guys did. All right, quickly here, let's wrap it up with CBS Sports' latest seven-round mock draft to show you guys who CBS Sports has going to our Pittsburgh Steelers. Round one, number 20, Jordan Davis, a deep tackle out of Georgia, an absolute monster of a human being, and the guy's like a whale at the inside of your interior defensive line. Clogs holes, not a lot of pressure, not a lot of huge numbers, but this is a big-time run stopper, and that was a big need for the Pittsburgh Steelers. How about Desmond Ritter in round two at 52 overall? I don't see Ritter falling this hard. We'll talk about him more in just a second, but that, that's an interesting pick right there, and very clearly a pick that would say, we don't want you to start right away because you're a second-round quarterback. Calvin Austin the third, the wide receiver out of Memphis. You have Mario Goodrich, the cornerback out of Clemson, the guy opposite of Andre Booth. Those are your first four draft picks. Let's quickly mention Jordan Davis here. Again, big-time player. I think he would thrive in the Pittsburgh system because you have great pass rushers on the outside, and that would be, to me, you know, a place where Davis could get a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities, but he's more there to stop the run. I don't know if he's going to try to be a superstar in the NFL, but a good player, it's hard not to be when you're that big and that athletic. Let's just say that. Ritter, again, I think Ritter goes in the first round. I think he, he and Corral are going to be fighting to be quarterback three off the board. I think you're going to have Wilson pick it, go first. If you could get him in round two, I love it, because then you don't have to start him week one. You can just let him sit by Mitch Trubisky. I think the talent is there. It's just a matter of, can you be an NFL quarterback? And that's the question with all the quarterbacks right now in the draft. Um, your other rate, late round picks right now, uh, Tyson Anderson, the safety out of Toledo. Again, these are late round guys. These are special team guys, backup guys. Luke uh, Tenuta, I think you say his last name, the tackle out of Virginia Tech. And Ty Chandler, there's your back up running back out of North Carolina to go ahead and go behind uh, the current Steeler running back system, which is featuring and uh, focused in by Najee Harris. All right, what do you think? Grade this mock draft, A, B, C, D, or F. I, honestly, Ritter in round two, to me, gives this grade a lot higher. I just don't think he's going to be there. So I'll give it a B plus, but I, I just don't think it's going to be uh, this easy to get Desmond Ritter or a quarterback just waiting for them in round two. Either way, grade it down below. All the time for today on our Pittsburgh Steelers News Rumor video. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, at Real Thomas Mott, for the latest Steelers News and Rumors. A lot of updates there as well. And, of course, a mailbag video will happen later on this week. So get your questions in if you're a subscriber. Hashtag Steelers right now down below in the comments section. Again, all the time for today on our Steelers video. Toss Mott, signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day.